Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and this is the Dragon Ball Legends collab Super Saiyan Gogeta from Bandai. He was released on August 8th, 2019 and I got him from NipponYasan.com I think I pronounced that right. Link in the description box below as well as links to other places you can buy this figure. As you'll notice by the pose on the box, this is Gogeta from the Fusion Reborn movie. Before we get to the figure, we're going to look at the box real quick. Here is the front. Here is one side. The back. The other side. The bottom. The top. And the Toei Animation sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let you know that this figure is real and not a bootleg. And now on to the figure. He comes in three pieces along with a support that goes around his ankle. You got his legs, his upper body, and his halo. And here he is put together where he stands at 11 inches. Awesome size figure. Now if you buy this figure, open him up and put it all together, he'll more than likely fall backwards. What I did was rotate the base, the support, just a little bit clockwise, and now he stands perfectly. Bandai did a great job with this figure. The sculpt is done very well, and I love that they have him in his Stardust Breaker pose, getting ready to launch his final blast at Janimba ending the fight once and for all. Of course there are a couple things they could have done to improve the figure but I think they're just little tiny things and I'll get to that in a second. And I feel that they captured his likeness very well. Looks like his movie counterpart. Some people felt differently and I did at first but that was based off of a very 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 quick glance. I looked at his face for like two seconds said yuck and threw it to the side. But about 30 minutes later, I decided to get a closer, longer look at the figure, and I changed my mind and felt that he did capture the likeness very well. Like I said, there were like a couple of things that I think they could have proved upon. One of them is the orange part of his vest. As you can see by his armpit, it doesn't touch, it stops there and there. It should have made it go connect all the way around. And the other thing is his hair. Although I do think they did a great job with the sculpt, it's a little too long with a couple too many spikes on it. In the movie it was shorter with a little bit less spikes, obviously. Looked more similar to how the Tag Fighters Vegeta's hair is. And that's kind of really the only two things. He does have uh, a line on each side of his mouth which makes it look like he's kind of old. So this should have got rid of that. And now to talk about the rest of the figure. I think Bandai did a great job with the coloring. The paint application is done very well. And the paint quality seems really good. And there's some shading all throughout the figure. And it's done very well also. And once again they skimped out on the shading on the back of the figure. Except for some of it on his arms and his vest and hair come around. But the rest pretty much stops on the side. Oh, and one thing that might turn you off on this figure is once again they made his pants hollow. I prefer them to be solid, but being hollow does not bother me. I'm not a huge fan of the purple shading on the belt. I think it looks cool, but you know, the rest of his belt up top and the sash around his ankles don't have purple in them. So it doesn't make sense to do it on this figure. So actually that's kind of my biggest complaint. Looks cool, but compared to the rest of the blue, it just throws it off. One thing that threw me off on this figure was the darkness of his torso compared to his arms and face. But I can kind of explain it away. Being in this pose, we know he's charging up his Stardust Breaker attack getting ready to throw it at Janimba. And as we know, there's always a light source and energy attack. And because his arm is closer to his hand than his torso is, his arm would be lighter from the energy source of the ball compared to his torso. 
Plus, the vest is casting a shadow, blocking the light. Therefore, his torso would be darker than his arm and face. For some figure comparisons, here he is compared to the Dragon Ball Legends, Battle of the World, Super Saiyan Goku, and the Dragon Ball Legends, Battle of the World, Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta. And here is compared to the current Bandai Figure King, the Master Lease, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and the current Banpresto Figure King, the Chozetsu Giku. Master Ultra Instinct Goku. And here he is compared to the Master Stars Peace Super Saiyan Goku. And the Master Stars Peace Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And here he is compared to the Chokoku Bayuden Full Power Super Saiyan Broly. And the Tag Fighters Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. And here he is compared to the Dragon Ball Fighters The Android Battle. Android 21, Goku's eating rival, and the Glitter and Glamour's Bulma, Vegeta's wife, that's his Bulma. Alrighty then, that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Even if you don't have them, let me know what you think based on what you see in this video. And if you'd like to buy this figure, then as I mentioned earlier, in the description box below, you'll find links to places that sell this figure. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.